What's happening guys, it's DK Priori and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dark Souls 3, The Convergence. So we cleared out Untended Graves and Dark Fire Link or whatever it's called. There was that gate at the tower that annoyed me because it said it was locked from the other side but you couldn't get to the other side at least as far as I could tell. So I'm going to you know, try and forget about that for now. But it might bug me. Okay, it will bug me. But anyway, let's level up. We've got a ton of souls. Yes. Yes. We're almost at that 40-40 split. Which puts us damage wise at 9.45 with the body Shh. it's pretty crazy pretty crazy I suppose we could get more damage out of it if we leveled strength and tweaked into that it's a bit of scaling that it, the C scaling that it has oh no it's dex sorry the C scaling in dex but I don't think there's a need to do that. I think those would be wasted points when we can focus on getting an extra point in, in attunement or endurance. I think Vigor's okay. Vigor's serving as well. 30 will do. I really need to go much higher than that. So with that in mind, I guess we go and trigger uh, the fight with the Dancer. Let's kick things off. In that manner, shall we? See what, if anything, has changed with her. Because we certainly aren't finding... Whoa! Chill! Yeah, we certainly aren't finding Pontiff to complete things anytime soon, and we need to get to Lothric Castle. Like, that's the next... Wait a minute. No, that, that's still closed off. So yeah, there's, there's no conceivable way to get to Lothric Castle and see what's there without triggering the Dancer fight, and to do that, we need to kill this lady. I'm sorry. I'm real sorry. Yo. Yo. Wait. I gotta fight a spirit now? Interesting. Oh, of course she's gonna heal. Do we get the bow of the basin of vows now? Yes, okay, okay. So, yeah. Now. We get to what is in the base game probably my favourite boss fight. The dancer's just awesome. The music's great, her moveset's wonderful. Yeah, I love this fight in the base game. But I wonder if it's gonna be a complete pain in the ass in the mod. Let's watch this such a cool scene. Get Gru out. Mm. 
Oh wow, she wipes Gru out. Okay. We're doing this the old-fashioned way. God's sake. Okay. That... She's not necessarily harder. I just fucked up. Uh, we're not going to bother with Gru. Gru did nothing there. Gru cannot survive that onslaught. So I'm just gonna do what I do best against Dancer, which is melee. You fucker. Heal! Heal! That was obnoxious. I don't know if this is a good attempt because that just put us off to a terrible start. Doing a spinny. Again, I'll reiterate what I said after the first attempt. She's not necessarily harder. She hits harder, I think, than she does in the base game. However, she's not... Her moveset hasn't really been altered much. Oh, fuck off! That's a pain. That's a real pain. That was the same problem I was having against the Abyss Watchers. They just clipped through the fog wall. And then you take damage right before the fight's even begun.
Okay, she's going to do a spinny. Shit, shit, shit. Dead. Dancer goes down. So I can confirm her moveset hasn't changed. She hits like a truck though. Now I don't know whether that's because of my res this build's resistances or whether th they've increased her, her actual damage in the mod, but she hits hard. So I would say first phase, melee, second phase, because she's so spinny. Uh, if you can, give her some ranged casts and that ought to work out still a great fight still such a great fight everything about that fight is just wonderful and now Lothric Castle Ooh, bonfire right here that's that's nice that's a uh, quality of life change again but obviously that means that there's going to be um, you know there's not going to be a bonfire for a while now have we got a soul item just to budge us up enough to get a level that'll do donkey Are we, should we go for more endurance or an extra attunement slot? I think I'll focus on endurance, uh, attunement, sorry. Try and get an extra slot so I can have that utility option. That'd be nice. Okay, that still needs kicking down from the top. There is the consumed king's garden. Let's go and do Consumed King's Guide and let's let's see what's happening here now. I've no you know what? I do have toxic resistance. I'm gonna take a ten percent hit to my magic and put on the toxic bite ring. Although I don't need to yet. We'll keep that. Okay, he's buffed because of Douche McGee over there. And he's going to come and heal him. Yep. As anticipated. Oh, and he can heal too. You've got to go, bro. Okay. This is going to be annoying. 
because normally those Kayla guys, they don't follow the night like that. As soon as I started getting good damage into the night, like the, the caster just sprinted. What is... Oh yeah, yeah, I was disorientated for a second there. So, the new strat, if we can target the healer, which we can, I'll take him out before he, he has a chance to heal the knight. This should work better. There we go. Oh, that's not an item. That's an explodey. Anything there? No. Anything around here? This place used to be such a festering shithole. It probably still is, and I'm still anticipating some toxic here. Uh, that's why we're going for the toxic bite ring. Send that on its way. Okay. Got these guys from the DLC. Our final Esther shard. Lovely jubbly. Ring, if you wanted to challenge yourself. I can cast two, dickhead. So, this is nice. We can explore freely because Toxic by Ring, dope. This place is now filled with those things from the DLC, from the Ring City. So, that's cool. Miasmic Scepter, I guess that's a dark thing. Obscuring Ring, okay. Sacrifice. What's that? It's big. Is it one of those babies? Oh no, it's a. Uh, it's what's usually here. Mm -hmm. I'm stuck. That could have gone wrong. I got stuck on the wall. And those things are really tricky to dodge because they're just like wriggling around everywhere. Let's do this. That was a super yee. Claw, chunk, drags. Okay. A little annoying. Get rid of these range guys first.
Ah, didn't see that. There's another one there. Where now? They're everywhere. Ever so slightly annoying. I don't even know if this sludge is toxic anymore, but I wasn't about to take a chance on that. These guys keep coming, or am I just not seeing them? That's all of those. There's some druid stuff up there that I can see. But I don't know if it's a druid item or a NPC. Let's investigate, shall we? It's an item. Nice. Living flame. Okay, there's a bonfire. This would be a good spot for a thumbnail, actually. Yeah, I'm getting thumbnail ideas, or I've been having thumbnail ideas for a while. So... We may as well light this. here. We'll also open up the shortcut and see if there's anything new under the sun. Yeah, we can still roll out. So we'll get that on the way back down. This used to be filled with thralls, if I remember rightly. Yeah, it still is. Pain in the dick. Oh, you prick. I hate these things. Honestly, I think they're my most hated enemy in the entire game. We've got a healer somewhere. There. Are they just gonna, like, circle jerk heal each other? Or is there a knight up there? I wonder. I suppose we're about to find out. Moonlight straight sword? What? C, C in strength and dex, and B in int? What's it look like? It looks like... Uh, what you'd expect a Moonlight Straight Sword to look like. So... Some of those. This is the door to back to the castle if we need it. Right. 
Yeah, that's right. Let's ooh, uh, investigate the rest of the intended graves. And then we can wrap up, probably start with the boss of this area. It might be a Cyrus, it might not. I don't know what's going to happen. I, I, I kind of hope it's a new boss because Osiris is dookie. Like, lore wise, he's cool. He's got the either invisible or hallucinatory baby in his hands. But as a boss, he sucks ass. What? Okay. I don't think it's any different. I thought it was glowing red. You know, like a grey UFO. But... It was just a standard one. So there's the bonfire. Let's go up that ramp and see what the item is. Oh. Titanite trunk. Titanite trunk. Nothing back here. Anything here? I'm going to say that's a hard no. Back of the bonfire. There's still knights here, or was it just wriggly dickhead? No, seems it's just him. No loot. And a boss fog, so we do have a boss. All right, I think that's good for this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we'll see what this boss is all about and then proceed on to Lothric Castle, seeing as we've already done the untended graves from the warp in the Cathedral of the Deep. So, I've been DK Priori, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>